Hello and welcome to JHEP's AQA and FXL lesson on matchings. Well, the first thing you've got to know is that this is called a bipart. Uh, uh, I can't even say it properly. A bipartite graph, and bi means two, like bisexual or bicycle, two wheels. Yeah, and it's usually the um, it's usually um. Um, written as in like K one two three four, K four four. Yep. Okay, because this has got four, um, four vertices on this side and four vertices on the other, so that's why it's called K four four. But, um, at Excel students, you do not need to know that. Okay, it's not really important. So, you just need to know that this is a bar partite graph and we use it to match up students. So, in preparation for this, I came and made a website called find the perfect love in the whole wide world dot com and I had eight people join up to it. And basically, I've made a nice little progress chart and everything, and I've noticed that Jane is compatible with James and Owen, Mary's compatible with Toby and James, Sarah's compatible with James, and Jessica's compatible with Owen and Dom. Usually, the exam question will ask you draw this in a bar partite graph, um, and what you do is simply just Name the nodes, name the um, name the vertices. Jane, Mary, Sarah, Jessica. So Jane, Mary, Sarah, and Jessica. And since they are compatible with the opposite sex, because this is split into two bits, females and males. So what you do is you just draw it for James, Owen, it doesn't matter which way it is by the way, Owen, Toby, Toby, and Dom. Okay, and we will just draw that. So Jane is compatible with James and with Owen. Mary's compatible with Toby and James. Sarah is compatible with James. See, James is very popular, isn't he? And Jessica is compatible with Owen and Dom. Okay, and that is our bar partite graph done. It's usually like two or three marks for AQA students, so it's actually not that bad. But what they do is they take it further. But before we do that, we're going to have a look at some terminology. Um, when we take it further, we usually have an initial matching to be able to find out if we can have a maximal matching or a complete matching. Uh, but basically, a matching is um, it's assigning one person to the other. It's like a relationship. You do you do not want two people just hogging one man, do you? And it's the same as handshaking. You want to you you want you'd want to just be in contact with one person at a time. And that's what um that's what matching is all about. So for example, if I just have one, two, three, four, this is a matching because no two there's no um edges, two edges coming from a vertex. There's only one edge coming from a vertex, one edge coming from a vertex, one edge coming, one edge coming. You cannot have two, um, you cannot have two degrees or two edges coming from this vertex. This obviously has like three and two and two and one. So what we do is we have a initial matching in order to make this maximal matching. And the maximal matching is just basically any matching which has the largest possible number of edges. Basically, it's a step down from complete matching. And, and a complete matching is just basically when all the number of edges equals to half of the total number of vertices. So 
the number of edges in this matching is 2, 1, 2. And the number of vertices is 1, 2, 3, 4. And since it says half of, half of 4 is 2. So as you can see, 2 it does equal 2. And a maximum matching is that just in case you cannot have um, this complete matching, you've got that instead, okay, where there are four vertices and one edge, but that is called a maximal matching. Okay, so moving on, um, through my outdated knowledge, I had an initial matching that Jane was um, matched up with James, Mary was matched up with Toby, and Jessica was matched up with Owen. So what we would do is we would have this for reference, We'll have this for reference, and then we shall create, this is AQA by the way, we shall create another graph, which basically displays the initial matching. Okay, so if we just undo that. So what we do is I'll just say Jane is matched up with James and remember this initial matching only has one node connected to each other Mary is connected with Toby Sarah, um, and Jessica is connected with Owen uh, just because that's a, oh, okay, so this is our initial matching, and then when we would want to make a maximal or complete matching, and in order to do that, we start at. Um, it might be good to have a different color pencil, by the way. Um, we start at um, on the left where the node where the vertice is. Like hasn't got anything connected to it. A blank vertice, shall we say. And uh, that is Sarah. So what we do, we know that Sarah can be connected with James. Okay? So we do that. Why not? Sarah's connected with James. But this line now disappears. Okay? Just for the fact that there's two vertices now. There's two edges on this vertice. So we need to get rid of that line. Okay? Bye-bye. So now we go on to Jane, um, we go on to James, or Jane, my bad, and then we can see that Jane can be matched up with Owen. So we match with Owen, but there's two vertices now, so we need to get rid of this one. So we do, we get rid of that line. And then Jessica can be matched up with Dom. So I have to keep on changing the colours. Jessica can be matched up with Dom. And there you have it. That's a complete matching because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 vertices and 1, 2, 3, 4 edges. And also, no, there are no two edges coming from a vertice as well. So we have done it. We have created a maximal matching. Now... And um, what you just basically do, if you just need to, um, just to be safe, you'd say Jane, Jane is matched up with Toby, um, with Owen, sorry. Mary matched up with Toby, and so on, like that. Okay? And that's all you need to do. And in an adjacency matrix as well, um, you'd write one to suggest a positive um a positive indicator that there is a uh, node coming from one to the other. So for Edexcel, Edexcel is actually a bit different because we have got these, we've got two special words and you'll get, you'll come across them in a minute. And AQA students and OCR, um, I forgot to change that to Edexcel, can look at this because this is an alternative way in which to do it. And this is solution two. And what we do is, what we'll do is basically make one bold and make one not bold. So, let's say, so, uh, I forgot to complete the initial, um, no, actually, we don't even need to delete ones here. 
So what we do, we use a thick coloured pen to tell us where the initial matching is. So Jane is with James. Okay, that's a bit too thick. But yeah, Jane is with James. Mary is with Toby. Uh, let's change it to red. And let's change the thickness. So Jane, Jane is with James. Mary is with Toby. Jessica is with Owen. Now, what happens, like AQA, you start with a node which has, um, which is not in the initial matching, shall we say, and we, we start with Sarah. So, what we do, we travel, and you need to, you do need to write this down, we travel from Sarah to James, okay, because that's the only way that's the only um, that's the only person Sarah's compatible with, and then James is connected with Jane with a with an initial matching. So you use a double like an equal sign, and then Jane can be matched up with Owen. Oh, I forgot to write J A M to J A. Jane can be matched up with Owen. Okay, so basically the less thick lines are signified as the as one line and the thicker lines are signified with two lines. So Jane with Owen and then Owen can be matched up with um Owen is matched up with um with Jessica. So we have a double line and we have a J E and Jessica can be matched up with Dom. And then what happens now, since we've reached the end of it, um, uh, what happens now, you say breakthrough, you write breakthrough, change status, change status. And what happens is that the one line becomes two and two line becomes one. So it would be SA initial matching um, to J A M to J A to O W to J E to D O M and there you have it I mean you might be thinking what happened to Mary and Toby but if you think about it it's it's already there it did not need to be altered so we have got Sarah connected with James, Jane connected with Owen, and Jessica connected with Dom, oh, and also Mary connected with Toby. Okay, remember, but there are different ways of, um, there are, there may be one uh, or more complete matchings, but this. This is obviously different to that one because I did it, I went through a different route, shall we say. So, but we can see James is connected with Owen, Mary's connected with Toby, Jessica's connected with Dom, Sarah's connected with James. Okay, um, and that's it for complete, that's it for matching.